Hey Capricorn, how are you? I hope all is well with you. My name is MJ. Welcome to Creative Intuition Tarot. Um, Capricorn, this is your mid-month reading for June 2022. And we will get straight to it. Um, today we will be looking at your overall energy, the energy surrounding you, your situation. And then we will look into releasing stuff that you potentially may need to release, let go of to help you move forward. Um, smoother, safer, quicker, better, okay? And then how you can best release it or what is of best support to help you release it, okay? With that said, let's get to it because the cards are jumping out of the deck. Starting with the overall energy, we have the Six of Swords. And this card is showing up like for the fourth sign um, for the mid-month reading. So that is interesting. And you have the Ten of Wands. So I feel, and I really like this. Because the Six of Swords was first. I feel you are moving away from a burden. Moving away from some kind of a conflict. And it could have been with someone. It could have been your internal uh, conflict. Uh, this is sometimes called the burden of choice. You may have been conflicted. Which of those to choose to initiate the movement. Right? With the Ten Ones, we are not able to move. So there needs to be a choice made. Which one I'm taking with me and what I am releasing and leaving and with the six of swords i feel this movement was already initiated or at least you're intensively thinking about it so i like this because there's initiative on your end and leadership in the process so with the six of swords it's moving to the calm waters as i said leaving conflict behind but also what is most important is movement being stuck not moving and this is movement okay for now it may be inner movement that's why i said you may start thinking about it uh, with the night here, but it's starting to happen. So I really like this. Six of swords. So we have swords representing the head space, mind space, but also we have calmer waters. So emotions, heart space, and soul space as well. The intuitive spiritual space too. Um, and when we move to calm waters, we have peace and calm in our mind space and that watery space as well. So there's balance between them. And I really, really like this. I feel with releasing this burden and making the right choice, what you take with you, where you invest yourself and what you leave behind, um, you are really initiating a movement towards a very balanced and peaceful place in your life. Okay? So I, I really, really like this. And this this burden, the Ten of Wands, may relate to anything and maybe about, um, you know, your responsibilities, tasks, projects you're engaged in, people, connections, okay, whatever that is, um, it's just too heavy and there's certain unnecessary luggage that need to be released. So let's see, uh, can we get a little deeper into it and see what is it that you need to release at this time, let go of, okay, this, those two, they clearly didn't want to go back into the deck, so... Eight of Swords and the Ten of Coins. That is interesting. Um, another number 10, you have the Ten of Wands and now the Ten of Coins. But also what is even more interesting is you have the Eight of Swords and that is a card of being stuck. Similarly to the Ten of Wands where there is no progress. With the Eight of Swords, it's being stuck in primarily in our mind space, head space, overthinking being stuck or circling around one specific thought or task or challenge, not being able to move away from it, to move out and make progress. Even though this this person or angel is it or bird, okay, um, looking at, at its legs, but it has wings, so it should be able to fly, but, but it's stuck because of because of those swords and also uh, they don't see the possibilities to free themselves because their eyes are um, behind this this blindfold okay um, and this is not only not seeing with physical eyes this is primarily not seeing with that third eye with that intuition not seeing the possibilities and, and the solutions to this and those solutions are here in your intuitive knowing, but also you need to be in that place of balance between the mind and heart to be able to tap into it. Here you are primarily in your mind space and that's why you're stuck. You're not 
that or that's what you need to release to really move forward to to make this movement maybe quicker maybe a little smoother or maybe to make it to manifest it in the physical to make it not only inner journey that you think about it but really make it happen you need to try and get yourself into that place of balance between mind and heart because here the human ego mind is prevailing and that is what is keeping you stuck i hope that makes sense for some of you with the ten of coins you may be overthinking your financial situation a little too much and that is what may need to be released certain fears and anxieties related to your finances maybe career something related to your home or your business and that what is maybe causing this burden right here okay um some of you are worried about your your home your family environment maybe marriage or something related to children um but something related to your physical world and something that is very precious to you something that you perceive as your accomplishment or achievement and you're for some reason are afraid of losing it or risking it i hope that makes sense But you know, there is also something about allowing yourself to spread those wings, even if it takes a little risk, if you want to, on the other hand, achieve this, this abundance and wealth of whatever kind, financial of, of, or really any other kind. Wealth takes many forms. You need to allow yourself to spread your wings to achieve it. I know it may sound very metaphorical, but if it resonates with you, you know what that is. It's like, for some of you, it's also about allowing yourself to dream big. There's something about allowing you to spread those wings. Maybe you're worried um, that, you know, you believe that you can fly, but then you will be a failure. You need to allow yourself to believe in yourself and spread your wings if you want to achieve this level of success, wealth, abundance of whatever kind and form. Let's see what is helpful in releasing those fears, anxieties, lack of self-beliefs. How can you best release this at this time? For a lot of you, it's really about making this journey go from the inside to the outside, from being just a journey in your um, emotional and thought space to really materialize itself in the physical the ten of coins how can they best release this look at this the death card death and rebirth don't resist the change accepted and really initiated and when i say initiate the change spread your wings okay whatever area of life this is whether it's career creative projects going public with your uh, side hobbies that you were hiding until now whether it's about your love life allow yourself to spread your wings be free express yourself be the authentic you don't be stuck in your head with your dreams, but reach out for them um, to manifest them and fulfill them, okay? Make them happen. Don't resist the change. Greet change in your life. Be curious about it. Be open like, like pure and innocent child, okay? Um, it's like, see how... This, this child wants to touch the butterfly. Be curious about the change that is happening. Allow yourself to be like an apprentice, a little kid, young-hearted energy, and, and try to experience, touch, sense the change, and explore it, and allow it to happen. Don't resist it. You see how you are nurtured through this change and metamorphosis process? 
how gentle it is, how cared you are through it. Um, there's really nothing to worry about. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just about allowing yourself to spread those wings or reach out with your hand and, and taste and sense the change and allow yourself to experience it. That is beautiful. Even though it sounds super metaphorical, that is really beautiful. Let's see what else can we get. Can we um, get something more in, in addition to <laughs> the death card? The temperance. So you have 13 and 14. Be gentle with the change. Accept it and allow yourself to experience, taste and touch it. You have all the time you need. Everything happens in its right time, when the ingredients mix to create that perfect whole. There's synergy, there's synthesis, there's something in the process of being created. Okay? Give yourself time. It's like you are being born or you are being given an opportunity to start afresh, to be reborn in whatever area of life. And even though I'm saying you are nurtured through the process, it still may feel intense. Give yourself time and go gently through the process. You are nurtured with this energy, but also see your divine realm, God, the angels, whatever you tap into and believe in, are supporting you with this archangel here. This is a divine, pro two major arcanas. You are going through a divine transformation. And it's about time that it happens. So allow yourself to experience it. You are uh, cuddled through this change. And the only fear and anxiety or burden that this change may be creating is, is being created in your headspace. Okay? You are not seeing with this blindfold how significant this change is. Allow yourself to taste it slowly. You have all the time you need to go through it. That is beautiful. But you, you really need to trust that, that you are being led through this process by the universe, God, or however you call it. Okay? Have faith and trust. That will help you release fears and anxieties. Trust that you are moving in the right direction. But you need to release fears and anxieties if you want to manifest this abundance and wealth in your life okay i really hope this reading made sense um and that you were able to to make sense out of those messages that you found them helpful inspiring um and even if it maybe it was a little chaotic but but there were a lot of messages that i was getting through those cards and i i, I hope i passed them on to you um with sense okay i really hope um so as always please do take care of yourself um allow yourself time it's very important and i will be seeing you soon bye